So I recently had a problem where my Apple iMac was just crashing and rebooting in a loop over and over and over again. I was freaking out. Luckily, I was able to get all my documents and files off the iMac fairly easily. Today I'm going to show you how to network two Apple computers with an Ethernet cable so you can get important files off a Mac that won't start. Before I get started, take a moment to subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more how-to videos. So I have one Premiere Pro video folder on this iMac that wasn't totally backed up and I need to get it off this machine before I totally nuke this computer and start over. So the first thing you need is an ethernet cable. Connect the ethernet cable to your iMac, very simple. Now I have my CNET issued MacBook Pro, which has four USB-C connectors on it. Thanks Apple. So I had to use a USB-C ethernet adapter, otherwise known as a Uni RJ45 to USB-C Thunderbolt 3 Type-C Gigabit Ethernet LAN Network Adapter. I connected the ethernet to my adapter and plugged it into one of the USB-C ports on my MacBook Pro. Both of my computers are now connected by an ethernet cable. You can also do this with a USB ethernet adapter on certain Apple models. The next thing you need to do is make sure that sharing is turned on on both computers. Select the Apple menu, then preferences and click on sharing. Make sure file sharing is turned on and that users can access the files with read and write privileges. Also take note of the computer's name so you can easily find it on the network in your other computer. Now I had to do this really fast before my computer crashed again and again, so it did take me a few tries. Once sharing was turned on, I let the iMac start up again and then I did not log in. If I log into the iMac, it will just crash again and then I'll have to sit here and wait for it to go through the whole process. So I'm just gonna leave it on the login page. Hopefully it's stable and it will just sit on that page while you transfer your files off the computer. Now go to your working computer and select the hard drive. In the finder under your local drive, you will now see the hard drive of your busted computer. You may be prompted to log into your busted computer to access the networked hard drive, depending on the security enabled on your machine. And boom, my iMac's hard drive was there and I was able to easily move my files to my MacBook Pro so I could finish my video project on time. You can also use the network path to get to your other computer over the internet if they are both connected to the same Wi-Fi router. You just have to make sure that internet sharing is checked under sharing and preferences. Moving files this way might be slower and is limited to your internet speeds. Both of these connections allow for sharing of files and information between two computers and for playing network games according to Apple's support page. It's worth noting when you disconnect the ethernet connection, you will see a pop-up letting you know the network disconnected and you have the option to either ignore or disconnect. Well, there you have it, a quick and easy way to retrieve and save files from a dying Apple computer, and a cool way to network with other computers in your office or at your house. Once all my important stuff is off this machine, I'm gonna completely factory reset this iMac and start from scratch. Make sure to watch Chris Parker's video on how to do exactly that right here on the How To Do It All channel. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more how-to videos, and you can find a link to the ethernet adapter I used in this video in the description. Thanks for watching.